citizens and this is a committee that was put together of uh, citizens of Anderson County District 1 to basically look at the current parks and recreation opportunities that we have in Council District 1. See what are the shortfalls, where can we be better, what do we like that we have right now, what are we missing, where can we add some parks and opportunities for people to recreate. And so this is our second opportunity for people to come out, give their input on kind of the current situation that we have and how can we improve upon that. So I think the biggest thing is, you know, we have a lot of young families in District 1 and so I think what I'm hearing from a lot of parents of those young families is, hey, we need more opportunities for kids. Obviously, Kid Venture was a huge step in the right direction. We're really excited about that. I've already heard a number of people bragging about what a great facility that is and uh, so that's a big big point of emphasis but more opportunities like that more things where parents can take their kids to do certain things you know I think we've got we've got really good opportunities there you know Brown Road boat ramp I think some things that we can do to really build upon that recreational component with the lake obviously being there and so we've got some really good opportunities we've got a good base and foundation we've got to do our job to build upon that so we've got about five parks. So we've got Equinox, we've got, you know, obviously the Anderson Sports Entertainment Complex, Civic Center, depending on what you want to call it, as Chris Taylor Memorial Park. Obviously Kid Venture is out there that we touched on. We have the Brown Road fishing area there. And um, so we do, we have a good base of, of parks in District 1. We have a, a few, I mean, it's the size of the district, a lot of that stuff is actually city owned. So I think the thing that's unique is that people drive through District 1, they see more playgrounds or parks and things like that, but a lot of those are also owned by the city. So what our focus is actually the county owned facilities within District 1. Blake Sanders, who is spearheading this, he's doing an outstanding job from a professional standpoint of pulling everything together with recommendations and talking to constituents as well. Um, I would say around the first year, we're gonna sit down and figure out a plan of, okay, here are the things that we've heard that people really want to see, here are the things that we can improve upon, and then develop a plan of action. I'd love to see it uh, work some things in the budget over the next, you know, 2023, 2024 to kind of put some of these things into action. So I've been tasked with working with each county council district um, to look at all the county parks and give a 10-year vision plan. And so, so we have some amazing park property in District 1 um, with the Civic Center, with Kid Venture, Chris Taylor Park. We've got a large piece of property with a lot of it that's unused. Um, knowing that that's a regional attraction and destination, we have a lot of opportunities to expand parks, recreation, and tourism um, in, in those parks. We also have one of the largest assets in Anderson County, and that's Hartwell Lake. Um, and so a lot of District 1 does touch the lake. Uh, so thinking about what, how Brown Road boat ramp may be re-envisioned to be more of a beach area or have a playground or have a component um, that involves perhaps a public-private partnership. So working with uh, District 1, Districts 2, District 3 and 7 and kicking off District 4 after the first of the year, um, the ultimate goal is to get all these plans together um, which have short, medium and long term goals. They all have cost estimates and they all have um, an illustrative plan view um, will be to compile all seven districts into one large document for county council to then prioritize the parks and prioritize the investments. Whether that will be equally distributed or whether it will be positioned strategically uh, for return on investment or perhaps recruitment or retention of employees and industries um, will be up to county council. We have a uh, online survey that, that they can take. Uh, we've got a QR code they can scan and go online and take that. They can call me, my cell phone number at 864-934-5261. I can get them the survey. They can email me at johnjr at mccoywright.com. Um, get in touch with me, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media platform, I'm on all of them. Um, reach out to me, I'll get them whatever information they need if they weren't able to make the two sessions.